Hello, today we're gonna to look at Luke chapter 12, and what amazed me was the series of warnings that I saw in that particular chapter. And it begins in the very first verse with beware of the leaven of the Pharisees. The leaven in this particular case being the hypocrisy of the Pharisees. Don't follow their example. The second one which came from, was a little odd. It says, don't fear the one who can kill the body but rather one who can cast by his authority your body into hell. This is referring to God, that God has authority over all things and that God has the ultimate authority. The third one is, do not blaspheme the Holy Spirit. You know, don't reject the Spirit's witness to Jesus as the Lord, as the Son of God. Don't reject the Spirit's witness to what we should do. Don't blaspheme the Holy Spirit. The fourth was be on guard against greed. Um, it came from a question that was asked to Jesus about, you know, would you help me divide the family inheritance between my brother and I? And Jesus says, who called me to be an arbiter of your wealth? And then he went on and he told that interesting parable, that parable about the bigger barns, the man who said, I have so much, I am going to be great for a long time. I'm going to build more barns and store things up. But he never stored up anything for eternity. He never thought about spiritual things. And so he was still spiritually bankrupt. Jesus went on to talk about things from the Sermon on the Mount at that point. Do not worry. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. You know, the birds don't worry. You know, our, our garments, you know, Solomon was, was beautifully dressed and so forth. Um, be prepared was the next one for the master's return. Are we prepared for the second coming of Jesus Christ? And then he went on to talk about being prepared. Now, as we're prepared, are we active in the kingdom? Are we working diligently to do what God has called us to do to prepare? Huh. A lot of warnings in that particular chapter. Um, one that was hard for us to understand was a warning that sometimes devotion to Jesus Christ causes division within the home within the household. That was one further warning. The last one being, be observant. Be careful to see the sign of the times. We understand uh, when we see the sun rise and the sun go down, we understand when it's gonna be a beautiful day or it's gonna be cloudy. He says, how can we discern that, but not discern what he said at that time was the present time. Be prepared, be prepared is the message of Luke 12.